mystical light beings and welcome to Lena Mystic. Today's video is a pick a card for three months from now. So if you've never done a pick a card, you just want to pick the group that most resonates with you when you first glance at it. So if you've been hearing a certain number in your head lately, maybe number two, maybe number six, then you want to go ahead and pick whichever group just, you know, it connects to you naturally. And if you've been hearing that number, most likely that number is going to really naturally connect to you. So go ahead and look at these cards and just see, you know, what what do I feel the vibe with this group that I'm looking at? Do I feel it or do I not feel it? How are you feeling? Just connect to that in your intuition. We're going to go ahead and get started with group one. Welcome group one. I'm so happy and so blessed to see you. Go ahead and make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment down below right now so we can go ahead and get into your group. I'm so excited for you. So for three months from now, you are definitely going to be growing. I see almost this stem and this root coming up from the ground and just flourishing, which is such a beautiful experience. I've personally gone through a huge growth period myself, and I think that there's definitely going to be a new spiritual awakening for you. I sense that a lot of you have already gone through a spiritual awakening, but this one is going to be kind of amplified, which means that the results are going to be amplified. And I, I don't know, I just see like this abundance coming in with this crystal and just greatness, like finding yourself. Your theme for three months from now is healing. So you're going to be going through a healing experience where you're finding yourself, connecting with yourself and just vibing with yourself, loving yourself. And it's going to be a very, very powerful experience. I can feel it. And it even says, expect powerful change. So it's not going to be minor change. It's going to be a powerful exchange of spirit, emotion, spirit guides, all of these things, meeting angels, connecting with guides during, during you know, dreams. I'm just seeing this huge spiritual awakening, this huge growth period of shadow work almost like I'm seeing this shadow work being done and you no longer being scared of facing the pain or facing who you truly are as a person you're acknowledging who you truly are and you're expressing yourself with that authenticity okay it says you're very close to achieving your goals so if you've been applying to things been trying to get the ball rolling on things I see almost this snowball effect like every every shadow work that you're doing it is affecting all of these other areas of your life in a very very positive way and I see that you don't think small you think big and now that you're finally finding this healing and this confidence in yourself you're actually reaching for those bigger goals and it says act as if so start acting as if it is already yours it is claim it believe it start scripting okay because i see this this being a very powerful time for you because your guides are so proud that you're finally facing the traumas and finally facing the pain and saying hey i'm gonna learn from these experiences to make sure it enhances my life and isn't a setback so sing your own song so stop looking for this appreciation and this acknowledgement from other people when all the acknowledgement and the appreciation you need is from yourself you're such an amazing powerful person i'm seeing the number three for you i'm hearing libra maybe libra is in your chart or more, maybe you act a lot like a libra but i'm seeing this powerful powerful spirit of change and growth and no longer being interested in toxic things I see you leaving a lot of things as well. Yeah, with the Six of Swords, you're leaving people, toxic behaviors, things behind. This is a big change period in your life and a big growth period that you're finally accepting. And it's like you're accepting what you deserve and desire. I don't know if you've been manifesting, but I feel like you've been speaking on what you want in your life. And it's, it's going to be very, very powerful. Like I keep saying powerful and I can't. Stop stressing it enough that three months from now is going to be a powerful experience for you. Lots of changes, lots of growth, lots of confidence, and just seeing the treasure within yourself and accepting who you truly are and saying, if this person can't accept me, then I, I can't be in their presence. They almost don't deserve to be in my presence because my presence is full of light, full of joy, full of blessings, and they're too focused on things that have nothing to do with what I'm focused on. You're truly finding yourself, you're treasuring yourself, you're connecting to water a lot. So maybe you're a water sign or maybe you're with a water sign. 
and maybe your child's a water sign so I see some of you connecting with your child a little bit more because your work hours are going to be a lot more laid back and I don't know water is very healing for you almost like too. a shower meditations are great for you so visualizing the water coming down your body to your toes and just flushing all of that excess old energy you're for sure an empath and I see that with the water too that you kind of suck up energy so be careful with the people that you're around because if you're around toxic people you're gonna be sucking up that toxic energy and you don't want that and I also have a video on grounding yourself so go ahead and look on this channel and see if you can find the three steps to grounding yourself they're very very simple and this will help you get through things as an empath because we're constantly sucking up all of that energy and we just need to flush that energy out at every day every single day it needs to be flushed and like I was saying I just I really hope that you can be proud of yourself because you've come so far I see a lot of you coming from nothing or very small opportunity but making the best of it you're the light in the you know you're the rainbow after the storm you're such a bright spirit and you bring such brightness to other people but because you bring such brightness you find yourself around a lot of energy vampires so I see three months from now being different you saying I'm protecting my energy I'm protecting myself and my desires and the things that I deserve and really just putting a halt on people using you and abusing you and all of these things that are just not helping you get further in your life. You're letting those go. You're leaving those situations and you're bringing in more health, abundance, joy, gratitude and all of these things. I just see such great energy with you for three months from now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe and comment down below and I will see you in another group or another video. See you. Hello group two and welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure to go ahead and like, share, subscribe and comment down below so we can get into this magical group. Group two, your theme is flowering. Three months from now, you're truly going to be working on yourself, doing that shower work that is needed because I see that you will have gone through something that kind of shook you up and surprised you. And I think that it's going to leave you in a situation where you're a lot more negative and pessimistic about things with the star and the magician being reversed. I see that you're just disconnecting from life before this three months and it's, it's almost like you've given up on love or you've given up on your dream life or your dream love life and it's, it's kind of like this drag that you're bringing along with you. So with the Magician card being reversed, this tells me that you have the potential to manifest your desired life. It's almost like your words are very, very powerful and they have very, very much magical power to them. It's time for you to stop using your words so negatively and start switching the narrative, changing the narrative because you're very lucky and if your words are powerful, you want to use them in the best way possible. You don't want to speak about what you're missing out on or what you're lacking, but you want to speak about what you want, what you've earned, and what you love. It says to trust the great mystery. It's time for you to trust that your path is divine, that you are divine. And I know that sometimes you go through experiences which just really just, they, they, it feels like it's teaching you life is just this or life is blah, but it's trying to teach you a lesson in between that. You know, and a lot of the time when we lose people or things in our life, we think that it's all this negative thing. But there's always light at the end of the tunnel and within the tunnel as well. You just have to be willing to find it. Stop focusing so much on the darkness and widen your perspective so that you can see the light. It says be fearless and bold. Stop holding yourself back and stop settling. Three months from now, you have the opportunity to get exactly what you want. So you need to start writing down that, that intention that you have and focusing more on the intention rather than the lack thereof. With be fearless and bold, this is also telling me that you settle too often and that you're thinking so small when you can be thinking with a very, very wide perspective. And I, I honestly just feel that a lot of the things that are going to happen in your life will be basically what you've said. So if you're saying a lot of negative things, a lot of those negative things will manifest into your life. So be more positive and be more grateful because that gratitude will bring more abundance into your life. 
clear out the clutter so a lot of you guys don't know how to get rid of you know this oh, I feel drained type of energy and I just sense that a lot of you have things that represent who you were in the past but no longer who you're becoming and who you are so let go of those things and clear out the clutter of friends and stuff you know that just they're just not you know helping you develop into the best person that you want to be so clear out those friendships that are toxic and clear out your home your room whatever it is your bathroom i don't know but clear out any clutter because this also has energy within it and if you haven't been taking care of those things because you forget that you even have them then they're storing a lot of negative energy as well and it's going to make it even more draining for you Sage is a great way to clear out the energy as well as water. So if you can wash some of those things and then visualize great good energy, just welcome into that material thing or into that room or wherever you are, then that is a great way to clear out that old excess energy. Ten of Swords tells me that in your life you've been let down a lot, especially when you were much younger. So it kind of leaves you with the negative mindset and you're like, I'm a realist and I think real. I don't think about all these rainbows and unicorns. Trust and believe that the more that you start changing your mindset, the better your life will get. And I know that it's hard because you've been let down, you've gone through things that most people haven't and it's just, it's like... Your life is teaching you not to give up and to see what your lessons are instead of focusing so much on the lack and the pain. Try to focus on how it shaped you as a person. A lot of you guys are healers, so you were meant to go through those things so that you could heal a nation. You also picked the group two, and two symbolizes having faith and being trustful in your guides and yourself and the dream life that you want and desire. And Queen of Cups also represents taking care of yourself and changing the narrative and being nurturing and being an empath, a healer. So welcome in that healing spirit with love and gratitude because your path was meant to be here. It is, this is your journey. So take it by the hand and enjoy it and bask in the glory of it because you're, you're a natural born healer. What you went through is leading you on a path to healing. Recently, I discovered, you know, a motto that I think I live by and it's it's said to be healers break to heal. So a lot of us healers have to be broken to heal. And maybe you're thinking, you know, why did I have to go through this? This is why you've been looking for that that answer. This is why because you're meant to heal. And you can't really heal if you don't know that much about being broken, you know? And the only people who can heal are people who have been broken before. The star tells me once again not to look so negatively and not to focus on the breaking of you but the rebuilding of yourself and the growth of yourself and the flowering which is the theme of your reading the flowering of yourself so three months from now you will overall be healing and learning to use your broken journey to rebuild and shape yourself in your path and to rebuild others as well. I see you being great at therapy, great at listening. Once you start really diving deep into your pain and you know the lessons that you learned in it and how to see things from another perspective, you definitely have a way with your words, so use them wisely. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below, and I will see you in another video. See ya! Hello group 3 and welcome. Make sure to go ahead and like, share, subscribe right now, right before we get into this video. So, three months from now, wow guys, so the theme of your reading is new vision and politics. You're definitely going to be changing your perspective so much three months from now. Maybe you've really been, you know, stuck and stubborn about certain things. I even see the stubbornness with seven of wands just saying, no, my way or the highway. But three months from now, I see you changing that. You're not going to be as stubborn as you used to be. I'm definitely sensing some Scorpio and Capricorn vibes and even Taurus vibes <laughs> for sure. But I do think that changing your vision is going to be so great for you because I see once you change your vision, new opportunities will come to you. And it's almost like you're, you're looking through a lens and then you're widening the lens and then you're seeing all of this light coming through. And it's like, oh my gosh, look at all these opportunities. 
and you get to choose from a great list of opportunities. It's almost going to be hard for you to choose because you're like, wow, I never thought in a million years I'd be, you know, having to choose between all of these great opportunities that I literally want them all. But I see you choosing what's best for you because you finally changed your perspective and you finally opened your vision and you're you're just not interested in the the childish things anymore you know and page of swords just tells me that there's a lot of literally newness coming into your life where life is just changing you're learning so much you're opening your perspective you're smiling more and you're just you're happier and it even says be loyal to what you love i i really just see you getting the job that you want and getting the opportunities that you want and not settling anymore even if it pays it looks like it pays a little bit less than what you actually want i see you taking that opportunity because you're realizing that it's worth it because you'll be happy while you're working and you're still getting paid for it i see you guys that are in school not settling for majors or minors that don't have anything to do with what you love I see you going to school for what you love doing for what interests you because some of you are already in school and you've been studying things that you're not interested in you see that your grades are dropping and stuff and you're just like yeah I don't like this so you're starting to pick more like creative you know majors and minors or diving more into what you're interested in and kind of saying mom dad or guardian I don't really think I want to do this and some of them may be like you know I think that's unacceptable you need to do as I say but I see a lot of you speaking up for yourself and saying I think I know what I'm doing and you do so go ahead and pick what most resonates with you because this is gonna set you on a journey that you're meant to be on it, it's literally divine guidance and you're going to be supported, especially by angels, guides, and the universe. I, I see so much support. And it even says Will of Fortune, which tells me you're very lucky at this time. Once you start doing what you love, I see a lot of luck and opportunity coming to you. So do what you love. Do not settle for expectations that other people have on you. And a lot of you are thinking, if I change my major, it's going to be wasted. Or if I change my name, or if I change this, if I change that, it's going to be wasted. It's a lot of different things that you're thinking in your head, guys. And you're saying, if I do this, if I go a new vision, a new vision or a new route, then it's going to be wasted. It says nothing is wasted. What you've learned on that journey that you were on was meant to be. You're learning how to fall into your authentic self and your authentic purpose. Not anyone else's pushed on you purpose, not anybody else's desires, but your own. And it taught you a lesson that you needed to learn. It says, give with gratitude and grace. Be so grateful for your angels because they're really truly leading you on this journey. Start speaking to them more, saying angels and gods of light, please show me the way. Show me a number that can lead me to where I'm meant to be. Show me a purpose. Show me something. I need answers. Let them know you're looking for answers and they will let you know. Also, get a dream journal. Group three, I'm seeing crazy dreams for you right now. I'm like, start writing down your intentions. Start writing down your dreams that you're having at night. I'm seeing a lot of intense dreams. So go ahead and comment down below what those dreams are. I'm totally interested. I have wild dreams too, and I just love hearing about other people's dreams. Like I said, three months from now, you're not going to be as stubborn and you're going to open your perspective and you're going to say, hey, I'm going to do what I love. I'm going to do what makes me happy. And I know and I trust that it is leading me towards my divine purpose. Congratulations on your journey. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you in another video. See ya. Hello, group four. Welcome to Lena Mystic. Make sure you go ahead and you like, share, subscribe, and comment down below so we can get into this section this group is lit guys so three months from now your theme is traveling oh my goodness you're going to be all over the place I see you whether it is in your state your city or if it's in another country I see you traveling I see some of you having a honeymoon I see some of you having a graduation like party or going on a cruise and just enjoying yourself some of you going on planes it's basically the time where you're like i'm no longer planning i'm doing like i'm going to this place i'm going towards this opportunity i see movement for you and i see a guide or an angel for you as well i'm seeing them kind of like show themselves and i see that every now and then in readings but i'm definitely seeing someone supporting you for those of you who have a mother who's passed away i'm feeling a very 
motherly energy, motherly spirit, spirit, even an older sister maybe, I'm definitely feeling a womanly, motherly presence. Grandmothers included. Queen of Pentacles tells me that this person who might have passed away took great care of you, maybe helped you fund something, um, maybe even gave you money for something or jewelry, I'm sensing as well. And those of you who don't have someone that has passed away that is like a motherly spirit, I'm sensing that you will be saving this month, but also spending, learning the balance between saving and spending, and where to spend your money, and what's worth it. And I see that you'll think that self-care is very well worth it, which it is. So it's great that you're taking care of yourself three months from now, because you earned it. You deserve it. You're treating yourself like a queen or a king this month, um, three months from now. And I see you even connecting to animals. So maybe you'll be taking one of your animals traveling or something. It's kind of weird the way that I'm seeing it, but it kind of reminds me of how I was with my dog and I would take him everywhere. And I see you kind of doing that, taking your animal wherever you're going or attracting animals wherever you go. It says that three months from now, you need to keep in mind that you should be gentle with yourself and with others. I had to go ahead and pull out the book for Dear Spirit because I heard that I need to read it directly out of the book for you. So go ahead and get your journal and write this down. You can pause this video, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. It says, bring a gentle touch. The time has come to be gentle and diplomatic when dealing with others. You might have found yourself in a situation where negotiations are necessary in order to reach your goal. Be mindful of the words you choose, but do not worry. Dear Spirit reminds you that you have the ability to be sure-footed and confident while showing humility and respect for others. So you're, you're finding your balance between you know, being assertive and being gentle as well. You will find that your capacity for calm and grounded communication is heightened at this time. Follow the way of dear spirit and you will do well. Gaining the respect of others and finding common ground that is pleasing to you. Remember that understanding others and their needs will be more powerful at this time than putting your own first. If you do that, you will be rewarded tenfold. Dear spirit is bringing you a gentle warning that now is not the time to engage in an argument, no matter how volatile others are being. Do not match their intensity with your own. If you are dealing with an overly assertive person, step back and disengage, lest you agree to something out of alignment with your intentions. Don't let anyone bully you into anything you're uncomfortable with, and you have a solid footing if you stand your ground with grace. Those who disagree will begin to find their own gentleness and willingness to compromise. So I think what this is saying is even if you're you know, going through something with an assertive person, a demanding person, you kind of want to let them make a fool of themselves, especially in work and professional environments. Let them make a fool of themselves and realize how foolish they seem. I think a lot of people have this way of trying to piss people off, but I see you in three months from now saying, okay, you know, you look like a fool, so I'm going to let you look like a fool in front of everybody. And you're not going to pop off, and a lot of people are going to think, oh, they're going to pop off on me, and then, you know, we'll match each other's energy and everybody can see how petty they are but they're not you know nobody's gonna see that because you're not petty you're not petty you're letting go pettiness and you're saying I deserve better for koala spirit it says spirit has a plan so a lot of things are really just falling into place for you three months from now because you're listening to spirit and you're saying I'm not gonna overreact to certain things I'm gonna listen to spirit and go spirits route and spirits way because I know the more I fight it you know the worse it gets because I'm not listening to where spirit is guiding me and with the rhino spirit it says overcome any obstacle so any obstacle you're going through and i'm sensing a lot of you are going through work drama i see you overcoming this and the truth will come out like a lot of people are lying on you and whatever situation it is the truth is going to come out three months from now so people are going to start seeing the truth and they're going to realize that it wasn't you in fact it was the other person thank you so much for watching make sure to like share subscribe and comment down below and i will see you in another video Hello group 5 and welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure to go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and comment down below right now right before we get into your group. 
Group 5. It is so ironic that you chose Group 5 and that Group 5's big, you know, focus and topic is change. So 5 normally symbolizes change going on in the universe and for your personal universe as well, of course. And I think that a lot of things have changed in your life already and some of you have lost a loved one and you really, really miss them and it just, it hurts. And I understand, you know, um, I think a lot of us have lost a loved one, but I feel like for you, this person was pretty close to you or someone you just wish you had met. And I don't know, it's a little different for all of you. I'm sensing a lot of different energies, but I was drawn to pick from the talking to heaven mediumship cards for you and you're the only group who has that so I'm going to go ahead and read to you what it says it says we will be together again so if you've lost a lover I really feel that this is from someone you know someone that you were really really close to you whether <laughs> it says we will be together again for a lot of you I sense a lover or a sister or brother or someone who was just really 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 close to you and you just miss them so deeply and your heart literally aches I feel heart pressure and heartache and another card says I had to leave that way so I see some with car accidents and just tragedies and even quick things you know quick deaths I'm sensing that this spirit is saying I'm with you and you know, you, you kind of ignore that I'm with you. Maybe you've seen them or you felt them or they left a sign or perfume or something and you kind of just ignored it. But they're saying, hey, listen to me. I'm here. I'm helping you. I'm guiding you. When you look in the mirror, you see me or you feel me or you sense me. And they're saying, don't cry. I'm here. So for I had to leave that way, I'm going to go ahead and read from the direct book so I can give you the exact message that it says. Please don't relive my death in your mind. As from my perspective, it was very different from how you imagine it. To me, it was like a dream that culminated in a very happy ending. Yes, I was so sad to leave you, our loved ones, and our life together. But I have to be honest and say that I'm truly happy here. My soul is so enriched by all that I'm learning. My soul is so enriched by all that I'm learning. And I'm still able to be with you and help you. I'm finally free from all earthly sufferings, which allows me to love you even more than before. My life plan was designed with divine wisdom, and that included the timing and the way in which I exited. It is the same with your life and everyone else's. It's exciting to finally know these truths and to share them with you. Please know that I am truly sorry that the mode of my passing brought pain to you. And yet, everything happened exactly as it was supposed to happen. You couldn't have stopped it or changed anything. There was no other way. We will be together again. Because our souls are intertwined by shared missions and unfinished business, we're destined to be together. For now, I will be with you in non-physical form, functioning as a guide and a loving companion. While I can't give you the guidance that God or an angel would, I can lend my support and strength to help protect you. Once your life is complete, we will reunite in spirit form. When I'll remind you of the ways of the wondrous, non-physical world, I can tell you now that there's nothing to fear about dying. And yet, you must live your life completely in order to fulfill your mission. When the time is right, you and I will have other physical lives together, ones that are perfectly orchestrated to help others and to create spiritual growth for the both of us. These are definitely heartwarming you know, cards saying that I'm here with you, I'm here to support you, I'm here to guide you, I'm here to listen to you, I'm here to connect with you, to be in your dreams and to be in your everyday life. Such a blessing to have you know, someone that loves us so much from the other side to protect us and People that are on the other side just kind of getting us away from certain situations. I sense that some of you had an experience where you feel like you were led not to go down that road and you were led not to get in that destination or go to that destination. It's almost like spirit was guiding you. 
And I know that a lot of you guys hear that and maybe you have a lot of negative self-talk and you hear that voice in your head saying, stop it. Don't say that. Believe in yourself. Trust yourself. Love yourself. And these, these guides are definitely here with us. And I, I sense that you're hearing them a lot more. Seeing signs, butterflies, feathers, the color blue. I don't know what that has to do with. Smelling cigarette smoke and being like, oh yeah, that's Uncle Joe. Or like, it's just, it's like you're really sensing that these people are here with you. And they are. So stop denying it. Don't let friends and family members say, oh, that's just your imagination. It's not, it's them, they're here. Their particles of presence are with you. Now for those of you who lost a lover, three months from now, I see that you'll be connecting to love. And this could be with a different person or self-love or even connecting to your past lover. I am hearing that if you lost a lover, you can move on. And I know that you're probably like, no, I don't want to, but I'm hearing that this person on the other side is saying, hey, you know, continue your journey. I'm still here and I'm with you and I love you, but I'm on the other side, you know? And I know that it's been hard for you, those of you who have lost this person and just completely shifted your life. But just know that they are here loving you and supporting you wherever your heart desires and leads you. With the Page of Swords, I see you moving on from a lot of things. Um, I sense you letting go of so many things that are holding you back, including pain and kind of applying to these new jobs and putting yourself back out there to get new opportunities and meet new people. Lately, I uh, see you have been kind of in the house a lot or just, you know, being to yourself. But you're such a bubbly person, and I think that being around people will actually really help you. And something to do with water. I don't know if you live near water or used to go to the beach or something all the time, but I sense that water will be great for you, uh, bring great experiences into your life. So if someone asks you to go to the beach and you're like, no, go ahead and reach out to them and say, hey, you know what, I'll go. I'm going to go have fun, you know? Eight of Swords tells me three months from now, your pain won't be as deep and embedded as it is right now. It's saying that you're releasing yourself and you're choosing your fate now instead of letting fate kind of, you know, lie in darkness. You're finding the light and you're saying, hey, I have a lot more control than I'm giving myself credit for. So overall, three months from now, you're going to be seeing things a lot more differently and connecting a lot more to the spiritual realm because you miss your past loved one. And now that you know that they're here and they've been sending you these signs that you might have thought you were delusional or crazy, now that it's been confirmed that they're here, you're going to find the balance of connecting to the spiritual realm and the earthly realm. And you're going to, you're, you're going to love it. You're going to fall into that and enjoy it. And I see so many great new things for you. It says change. So go ahead and look up the number 555 and 222. I see that for you and 333. Um, a lot of numbers are powerful for you. Songs as well. I'm hearing songs on the radio reminding you of this loved one. It's time to focus more on the great memories instead of, you know, the pain that they went through. And just to change the way you see things. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below, and I will see you in another video. See ya! Hello Group 6, you are the last group. Let's get into this, but make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. The energy of your reading is isolation and conditioning. So three months from now, you're going to be changing your mindset and it's going to be at a time that you're kind of isolating yourself from all the chaos of the world. You're stepping away from a lot of these things that bring down your energy and just drain you. Once you start isolating yourself from all of these draining experiences, draining people, draining jobs and opportunities, the energy will gain momentum. So you're going to start moving forward in life. You're saying, hey, I need to step away from these things so I can widen my perspective of vision. But here's the kicker. With the Four of Cups, there have been so many opportunities almost handed to you, but you're so focused on something else that you, you just can't, you know, you can't see it. You can't see that opportunity that you really desire and deserve. A way to widen your perspective is to practice gratitude and to write down in journals how you're feeling every day, signs that you're getting of synchronicity, and just, you know, 
diving deep into yourself and how you think. Another way is to meditate. A lot of you are like, oh, if I hear meditate one more time, I'm gonna kick somebody in the throat. But meditation is very powerful for you. I sense that you suck up a lot of energy and meditation can kind of be that healing experience for you where you escape from all of this energy from other people and you dive into your own energy and spirit's energy. The Emperor tells me that you're not going to have this mask anymore. It's reversed. So I'm sensing that you're no longer going to have this mask that's hiding who you truly are. And I see once you take that mask off and you stop faking and you stop acting like you're okay all the time or you're this person that you're really not, I see opportunities really picking up for you because people are loving the true you the authentic you and it is scary being your true self because you think a lot of your flaws people are gonna hate but a lot of those flaws just make you human and it makes you so relatable and so adaptable it's funny that we were saying that you know you have to widen your perspective in the beginning of the reading because this conditioning that you've been in and maybe a parent has been telling you you have to be this way or someone in your life has been telling you people only like people who do this or I don't like this way that you you are and blah 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 like whatever people have been saying you have that voice in your head but I see that conditioning being you know no longer a part of you and you conditioning your new mind and your new mindset and it says look at the bigger picture so start thinking big because you have so many great opportunities being almost handed to you that you can't see them because it's almost like it's at a frequency that you don't understand almost like another language to you but i hear this ringing in my ears and i feel goosebumps and stuff where you feel the presence of opportunity and three months from now is going to give so much opportunity so many blessings so with the three of cups reversed this tells me that you're going to be leaving a lot of friendships between you know now and three months from now and I also see that with the Knight of Cups there will be new friends coming into your life these new friends will not be the type of friends always expecting something from you which a lot of your current friends or old friends have been expecting so much of your energy so much of your time never really asking how you're doing so you're gonna be dropping a lot of those friends who are not really concerned about you but more about themselves and I see that you attract a lot of narcissists and I see that you're going to be dropping a lot of those narcissists and saying to hell with you like I can't do this anymore I'm over it and it's just it's going to be a really nice time frame for you because it's almost like a purge dumping all of these things that are just not bringing you on on your journey. Also, I do want to bring up that if you've been doing something and it's been exhausting and tiring for you with the Knight of Cups and it's also something that you love but you're kind of drained a little bit from it I do want to say keep working with it but do it in moderation you may be working too many hours on it it says that your commitment is being tested so if there's something that you love and you've been trying to work on it and you know you've been struggling to stay consistent it's because you're learning a lot right now so try to bring in what you're learning and try to switch your perspective it says look at the bigger picture are you really doing this for the betterment of yourself, your higher self, and others? Or are you just doing this for ego? And I think at this isolation time period, you're going to be figuring out how to more serve spirit rather than ego. And that is when things will really start to pick up. I do see things picking up for you, especially once you start dropping all of this toxicity out of your life it does say the energy is gaining momentum so three months from now all the shadow work that you've done will really be paying off and really be making things move forward in your life thank you so much for watching make sure to like share subscribe and comment down below and i will see you in another video see ya